Well, welcome to the uh, toasty warm screening room. I'm Russ Simmons and I'm Sean Edwards and uh, Nick Abby. Have you guys ever made a home video and then showed them to the rest of your family? Well, Russ, that's what Dave Grohl should have done. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh -oh. But, uh -oh. but let's, let's start out with something maybe a little bit better. Yeah, let's start, you let's know, start there, with the best. Sean, there have been at least 11 film adaptations of, of uh, Rostand's classic romantic play, Cyrano de Bergerac, and at least 11 others that were inspired by the story. The oh, latest I cinematic version is different in a couple of major ways. Cyrano, starring Peter Dinklage, is a full-blown musical, and the love-struck main character is self-conscious because he's a dwarf, not due to his large nose. Yeah, Russ, director Joe Wright demonstrates considerable skill in adding a freshness to this often-told story, as you mentioned. It's surprisingly charming, and an eventful musical. Stunning and picturesque, this period piece actually has a contemporary feel to it. You know, Sean, it's a very well-intentioned movie. It's elegantly produced, and Dinklage is fine as the poetic soldier, but I didn't think Cyrano had quite enough dynamic energy to be truly memorable. I don't know, I liked it a lot, mainly because Peter Dinklage is amazing in the role. Now, no, he doesn't have the best voice, but I do believe that's the point. And the chemistry between Haley Bennett, who's Roxanne, and Kelvin Harrison Jr., who plays Christian, it, it worked really well. It's not a showy or flashy musical, but one that technically hits the right notes. I'll give it three popcorn bags. Four popcorn bags for Cyrano. Now, here we go. How would you like to see a grisly, over-the-top horror comedy starring Dave Grohl and Foo Fighters? That well, sounds like a campy bit of grindhouse fun, right? Well, unfortunately, aside from a few gory laughs, Studio 666 is a big disappointment. No, it's just a disappointment. It's also amateurish, juvenile, and utterly uninteresting. It basically plays like a live action version of Scooby-Doo. <laughs> yeah, with severed heads. <laughs> uh, in this story, written by Grohl, he and his bandmates opt to record their next album at an abandoned mansion. Problem is, it's haunted by evil spirits and their sessions <laughs> result in gruesome mayhem. You know, Sean, maybe a director like Quentin Tarantino could have found the right kind of wacky tone, but as it is, Studio 66 is That's mostly a bloody mess. Quentin Tarantino's a professional director. <laughs> now, you know, the legend is filled with artists who have sold their souls to the devil in search of music immortality, yeah. but Grohl does nothing with this age-old premise. He basically just woke up one morning and decided, I want to make a movie. It's ironic that the plot is about a band looking for a creative spark, so they check into this haunted manager. Why didn't they do that in real life when they yes. started working on this film? Yeah, two popcorn bags for me. This movie's so bad, I deleted all my Foo Fighters songs from my Spotify oh, no. playlist. I'm, I, I'm done. <laughs> all right, better news. It's already done. Better news. The Critics' Choice Association has announced this year's Super Awards nominees celebrating comic book, horror, sci-fi and fantasy movies, not Studio 666, and yeah. Spider-Man No Way Home and Shang-Chi, The Legend of the Ten Rings on the movie side had the most nominations, and CBS's Evo and Netflix's Midnight Mass led on the TV side. Winners are announced March 17th. And here's some news I think a lot of people want to hear, because comic book movies are the only movies people go and see now. If you want to be one of the first people in Kansas City to see the new Batman movie starring Rob Pattinson before everyone else, Go to the Fox 4 Screening Room Facebook page for a chance to win. And hint, hint, I think Russ and I have already seen it. Yep. And we ain't mad. <laughs> okay. And that's it for this week, guys. That's good to know. Okay. So, so Nick, I'm looking forward to your home movie uh, that we can put out into the world for people to pay money and see like Dave Grohl because I think you can do just as good a job as he did. Some Star Wars fan fiction. There you go. Uh, there, there, there you go. There yes. you go. Yeah, Dave Grohl should stick to the singing and drumming, right? You got it. He and should definitely stick to the singing and drumming. But Peter Dinklage, he does okay in singing. No, he's though, great. Right? No, he's, he's well, it worked got for the that. best singing chops, yeah, but, but he's all right. It worked for the movie. It worked for the role, but he's a cool dude. All yeah, right. great actor. All right. Thanks a lot, fellas. Appreciate Thank it. You.